Move on, it's nearly half past and now it's the amateurs. There is only one man in the land that can do the job of making the London amateur boxing scene come alive. He day near makes it purr. It's Rombo, the evening Rombo. How are you, Steve? Good. Ne never been better, Rombo. First of all, Ron, I've got to tell you, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. What's um, what, 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 what are we expecting this week? Limit, limit it to about 2,000 bouts, please. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let, let, let's start off with something where, where on, you and your station did a major crusade yep. for Newham Amateur Boxing Club and for West Ham Amateur Boxing yep. Club. Unfortunately, we have to mention this again, and if there's any people listening in West Ham, they can actually give a hand. Go on. West Ham Amateur Boxing Club, it's a matter of record. The guy that owns the pub, the Black Lion, yep. owns, the, owns the West Ham Boxing Club and yep. what was a running track behind. Yeah, I remember He sold that. the running track and multiplied his money by six. Wow. So, he, you know, he's not struggling. That, that's a fact. That's a matter of record. You can go to the public office and read the figures. Yeah, we talked and, about that as well, didn't we? Well, yeah. then, then all of a sudden, he wanted to move West Ham Boxing Club into the basement, which, of course, wouldn't work, a basement, not even oh. high enough for them to skip a rope, etc. Et oh, was that, the, was that the quotes, unquote, deal that was done? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. which, of course, they couldn't, they couldn't accept. But, and then because of your pressure and, and from you, the newspapers and things, picking everything up, he then said, don't worry, I'm not going to put in the planning application. Well, the rascal did stick in the planning application. Oh, rascal! <laughs> oh, exactly. And then he got a knockback. But now, all of a sudden, he's tried to put in a new planning application. He's not given them a new lease. They've only got two years to run oh. on their and, and And all, all the, you know, if people have got protests to put in, they've got to put them in by the 9th of February. But when you think that a running track, you know, they don't have a lot in Plasto West Ham, really. There no, they need more. I, 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 listen, exactly. lucky, lucky they've not got a major sporting event coming their way in the next two or three yeah. years that might but, highlight the deficiencies locally. It, 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 but as you say... Ron, but, you, know, know, they, you know what West Ham have got to do? And I did say this to Leanne when she was on the phone before, and I've said it to Mickey Mann uh, and Jimmy Murphy. They've got to knock on Seb Coe's door. They've yeah. got to knock on that 2012 door because if I see one more person in a 2012 low cast or so cast t-shirt or jacket <laughs> who's from who's from Peru or Australia or New Zealand, all oh, living mate. it. Oh yeah. The oh yeah. What we're gonna do, mate? In in in, in, oh, in, in, the, in the east of London, mate. It's gonna be absolutely <laughs> brilliant. We're gonna we're gonna give free <laughs> swimming costumes to two girls in a primary school. Yeah, exactly. I'm telling you, it's, I, you know what? It would make me rave. This is a sports gym. This is a sports club that gets people use that gym every week. week. So, so that, that's different people. They're using it every night. This is a sports yeah, club, exactly. which when its doors open, probably looks after six to seven hundred people per week. It's no more than a mile and a half from the centre of the Olympic site. And I tell you, you can't. There's a million things. There's a million things being done and money being spent. How has this slipped under the radar? Is it oh, because it's so close to the Olympics? Oh, it's a disgrace, Ron. It, it, and, and, and as I say, the people at West Ham, as you know, Leanne and Jimmy Murphy, and that they're really nice people, and they sort of don't want to cause any trouble. Well, listen, they they're going to they're they're gonna cause somebody's trouble. Gonna do so yeah, no, I mean, they're going to cause trouble because you know what? When I'm going to get involved now, I got involved last time, and oh, we well, got hefty on it. You did the job last time. Yeah, you yeah, did the job. And listen, I mean, they've been there since 1955. The club's been going since 1922, but they've been in that building since 1955. And you know, I have no problem with a guy earning a few shillings. Fine. No, He's no. multiplied his money by six. And he's got the busiest pub in the area. You no, know, you can't kill it. You no, just no, can't you, you can't kill it. Well, and I tell you what, you've got to go. You well, honestly, we've got to go through this 2012 mob. We've got to go through them. We've got to push this mob. We've got to push all the. We, we were at an event the other week, Ron. Okay, how many PR women were there? I said to you, who's she? You, I said to you, who's she? She, you said she's a PR woman. She's with the whatever, the low cash. <laughs> then there was one with the 2012. Then there was one with the ABA. Then there were four or five women with different people. What's going yeah. on? That's yeah, outrageous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all the cars outside all waiting to be taken places. And here's yeah. a gym. I tell you what, you know, th this whole Olympic thing, now that it's all the fighter company and it's okay, and all the, uh, all the aggro and the screaming and the shouting's over, this is when it needs to be monitored. You know, don't, yeah. keep, don't keep showing me a building that's nearly finished. I don't want to see that. Don't exactly. keep showing me that. Don't fly people in first class from all over the world to say it's a great event. Because if you fly someone in first class, what do you think that person's going to say? Duh. Yeah, 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 tell yeah. what, Seb, come out of your... Tell what, they all need to get out of their ivory tower. All of those Australians and New Zealanders and South Africans who are seem to be running this show, 
Get out of Ivory Towers and have a good look around those streets. And you know what this is reminding me of, Ron? This is reminding me of the very first very first Five Live thing I ever did with Seb Co. all those years ago when it was announced that we might be shortlisted. Okay, and I said, I don't think this is going to have a knock on that area. You know what? I'm going to find that. That's about nine years old. I'm going to find good that man. tape. Because since then, I've become a big believer. But I tell you what, I'm just on the edge of turning at the moment. Unless well, I start seeing some stuff things. done in the middle. As you say, they talk about opening new things. Why not things that are actually working and are massively successful and that produce national and international champions every year? You'd look after that first, I would think. Yeah, of course you'd look. Oh, Ronnie, listen, don't insult. Listen, I'm afraid, Ron, we've run out of time. But listen, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We've, we've, got, we've, aired, we've, we've had a bit of a scream up and a shout. Right, we have to see. say goodbye to you. I know there's plenty of stuff you wanted to talk about, but this is good. This is a London issue. Saturday, Ron, go, go, the just, go on, just squeeze, squeeze in. You've got 20, two minutes. Go on, at Delhurst Park Boxing Club, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. £10. Pounds. No, it um, doesn't get any better. Listen, Ron, like to see that kid, Fidel Riley. Listen, we like Fidel Riley. Ron, we like but, you, we like you immensely. Listen, you and I will talk next week. When I come back on the 18th, let's do a bit of a West Ham thing and let's see if someone let's see if someone from the, 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 the organising committee of the 2012 can come on and talk to us about West of the Hammers, as Lennox Lewis used to call them. I love and, West of the and, Hammers. And anyone in the West Ham area, there, any of the taxi drivers of that, Pop in, put in a protest. Yeah. You know, put the protest in before the 9th right. of February, please. Okay, Anything, no, just I'll, write it down. Okay, I'll do That's that in it. case there's any Australians out there. Now, if you work, if you work for 2012 <laughs> and you're in West Ham, mate, it'd be lovely if you could just pop in. I've just done it for them, Ron. I've just sorted them out. Thanks, Ron Bowdy, thanks very much indeed. Listen to Steve Bunce on BBC London 94.